Hey everybody, Norm from Test It here at WonderCon 2017. Now, this guy here is Frank Winsper who runs Mobius Models. We, sir, love your model kits. Thank you, thank you. And you guys out there may have seen us paint one of their interstellar model kits. You guys have some great licenses. And what you're showing off at WonderCon this year is a new or a prototype for model kit for 2001 Space Odyssey. This is, at least here, the, the cockpit, the front part of the Discovery. Tell us about the making of this model kit. Well, it's one of those things we wanted to do for a long time, and it's, you hear so many stories about what's out there for pieces left from the film, information, and we had found a few years back that a guy we knew, Adam Johnson, he works at NASA. He worked with Ordway there, and the NASA archives has all the blueprints, the amount of information, his personal notes, that uh, it, it got us moving a little bit faster. Everything was there to do this as accurate as possible. So now's the time. Warner Brothers finally got a merchandising program put together. Perfect timing for us to get this going. Now in the market of collectibles and replicas, you know, you could, companies make all sorts of different types of collectibles, from finished pieces, pre-painted pieces, to things that are supposed to be exactly the, what the production used. What you guys make are model kits. It's about the process of putting the kit together. So yes. how does this come apart? How did you guys design it so that it would be fun? How many pieces are there? Wow, uh, the way we're looking at it right now, it's, uh, it's broken down in about 620 pieces. Whoa! So it's gonna be a huge kit. To get all the detail and the tanks, the amount of separate pieces that had to be made, since we're limited to working with steel tooling, there's only certain shapes that will eject from it. That uh, the, the breakdown, that, that was really the tough thing. Like most of it, you, you start with a 3D model, and I can't do any of that. So you get an expert in to start breaking it apart, do the engineering work to see what will eject properly, the draft angles, the flow for the tool, all the real tough things. And then structurally, and, it needs to hold up as yes. something that can be assembled and displayed. Because it's not, a, like you said, it's a complex model. It's not simple. The spine of this ship has yes. so many intricate parts. Structurally, is it a, uh, like a, an axle, a pin that goes all the way across? It'll be a steel rod that'll connect in the center section. We were worried about that at first because there's always gonna be a certain amount of flex with steel regardless. Mm -hmm. We looked at tubing and they really assured us that steel rod with the light weight of the plastic would be fine. Mm. So it, it'll just be two steel rods that hold it all on and it looks like there should be no problems. <laughs> And what you have on display here isn't the full discovery, which is, no. as you say, it's going to be over 40 inches long, this yes. completed model. <laughs> you have the cockpit, the main hub of the ship, you have the satellite dish, and also you have the propulsion system, the thrusters in the back, Yes. Um, and then it'll be just the, the whole center of the spine of it, right? It comes together. Okay. It would have been great to put it all on display, but we actually just received this two weeks ago. Mm. So to put the whole thing together and get it out here, the material is so fragile. Now I imagine, would have never is the tooling done already or are these is still in the prototype? No, stage? this is uh, still the, really this is probably the final prototype. There's one or two little changes, uh, you know, odd things like the size of the stand. Mm. To balance this on something the size of a quarter, it's not going to work well. So very minor things, but it's ready to start tooling within the next two weeks. And is this a 3D printed model or is this? Uh, this is, yes. This is, okay. Yes. Wow, it's wonderful. There's, I'm sure there's cleanup you guys have done for primer oh, on it. Oh, yeah, there's always a lot of cleanup with that. It's, as you know, a lot of people don't realize how rough some things come out of a 3D printer. Yeah. So always clean up, always now, clean up. Frank, in the design of a model kit, do you guys also do a paint master to lay out your instructions, um, you know, paint it up and build up yourself? Normally we have someone in the office build one just to work on the color chart, mm -hmm. but not really anything you would call a paint master. The studio doesn't care about that. They're just oh, happy okay. that you know there are some color references and trying sometimes trying to find what's commercially available for colors is always a problem. Yeah. It's uh, very basic what you can get for hobby paint anymore. And some of the colors they used in filming, it's, it's impossible to match, so it's, it's all close. Well, like I said, we really appreciate that you guys, Mobius, are still making amazing model kits that are not only beautiful, but they're fun to build and fun to paint up. 
and we'll definitely when this comes out, we'll definitely be hopefully building one and painting it up so you guys will Great. have some reference. And you guys gotta check this out. They have they have the moon bus here. You don't want to pick one up. It's a finished one. 2001 A Space Odyssey. Come on. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Frank, for chatting with You're me. You're welcome. Not a problem. And good luck with the finished product. Thanks. Thank you.